happy Sunday. Happy Sunday, guys. I decided I'd get on here and do my makeup. Guys, I literally do this for fun. I really do enjoy it. Most of all, when you guys give me feedback and thank me for little tips and tricks, right? Look at these white hairs there, okay. Well, my name is Jessica and I am a saint um, artist. I am here in Miami. Today I'm going to be doing a simple, just, I mean, I did my eyes earlier this morning, but I'm just going to be using my 3D foundation, which is all right here in this bad boy. For those of you that don't know, Saint Beauty is pretty much, I mean, amongst other things, it is a 3D foundation um, that is customizable and fits all right in your palette. Now, this is a Mac Daddy palette. They do have different size palettes. So um, the beauty of Saint is that we personalize your compact to what your needs are. So my needs are a little bit heavy right now. I am an artist. I do have all of the colors. So I do like to have my big palettes. This is the double decker, which my sister-in-law actually got for free last weekend when she placed her order. Uh, so here you see it's two layers and you kind of just fix them up however you want. The way I like to do it is I have my creams. This is my entire face plus my adorable lip conditioner, right? I call it a cute chapstick and as well as my perfume. So I like to put my creams in the first layer and then I also like to just keep my powders in my second layer. Another amazing thing about, hi Millie! <laughs> Another amazing thing about uh, Saint Beauty is that each little tin is magnetic. So when you order it, you get a single little tin like this and then you can pop it in and they are magnetic right there. So you can kind of change your uh, little palette around how I do every once in a while. I get bored of the colors and then I just replace them with my big stash. I love you, Millie. Thank you so much for being on. And then here, what you will see is I have my contour, my uh, concealer and my main foundation. And then I have some other goodies in there as well. And just like the back portion, when you order from Saint, okay, you get your little tin like this, and these are all magnetic. So you kind of just pop it in and you only replace what you need. It is a game changer. If you guys haven't tried this makeup yet, you're late. You really are. So again, I will be using this today. If you're interested at any point uh, or wondering how you get these colors, I know it's overwhelming sometimes, even when you go to Sephora or Ulta, um, what colors you are. It's very simple. You can send me a selfie and I will recommend your colors depending on your undertones. I even look at your eyebrows and your roots and then I give you some colors. Or if you want to just start shopping without me because you are dying and you can't wait, my link is in my home, in my bio, in my profile. You can shop right there. Uh, you can shop for eyeshadows. You can shop for a lot of things that you don't need a color match for. But if you do want a color match, I am here to help you. I'm gonna get started today, guys. This is the Stay Spray. I use it as a primer. Uh, I don't have anything on my face, um, not even sunscreen, but again, I, I've, I've been kind of running around today. Sunscreen, we should always actually use. Um, this one does not have Stay Spray. This is from Saint, but I it's a Stay Spray, but I use it as a primer. When you use a primer, it makes such a huge difference on how the makeup goes on your face huge difference it helps it stay so i always like to do this and just dab it with the perfector sponge guys the perfector sponge are now gray they're so cute as you know we used to be called mascara beauty and we have recently rebranded and we are now called saint and it was the most beautiful change this company could have done they do a lot of beautiful things but okay so i'm just applying that and dabbing that in just pressing it with the perfector sponge. Again, guys, um, everything is from Saint. If you have a regular, like if you have the beauty blender, you can use it as well. The difference is you pay $22 for the beauty blender and this bad boy is like 12 or 13. And it's so, oh, it's amazing. Okay, so as I was saying, everything is right here in this palette. It is, guys, I'm, I've always loved makeup. I've always had bags and bags. I used to buy NARS foundation. Oh, I would get bored from the NARS. I didn't like how it looked. And I would try Tarte. And then I, I, I started off with MAC 
but the foundation for MAC was just a little bit too heavy for me. So I started looking for other, um, other foundations. I spent a lot of money. I came across this makeup line about seven, maybe eight months ago, and it changed my makeup game forever. I will never, ever go back to anything but cream. So these are cream based and you apply this makeup only in the areas that you need it. So it avoids the whole layering of layers of layers of layers of makeup. So I'm going to go in right now. I'm going to go in with the color um, Indigo. It is one of the darkest um, contours. And guys, this contour has coverage. So I am applying my contour, but it's actually part of the foundation. It's freaking crazy, right? So I don't need to apply a layer of, let's say, foundation and then apply the contour on top. No, this is part of my foundation. So I'm applying that right there. I am using the Detail Hack as my favorite for contour. And I'm doing the same thing on this side. I am just dabbing that on. This is like the easiest makeup to use. I don't know if you guys have ever tried contouring with powder. I have, which is why I never did it. You have to be very precise and you really need to know what you're doing with powder or God forbid, even liquid, okay? Because the powder is just very dry and it's hard to blend and um, the liquid sets and it gets hard. And if you make a mistake, you have to literally clean up your whole face. So with this, you just apply it in the areas that you need and then you blend it. It blends really, really easily. Since it's cream, it actually moves with your skin. It doesn't set like these powders and liquids do. I'm just gonna add it here on the bottom of my jawline. Hi, my dog is here saying hi, hi. Hi, you wanna say hi? Up, 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 say hi, come here. Hi, say hi. Look, he came to visit. Come here, Mason. He wants to make an appearance. Hi, hi, look at me. Look, 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 look. Say hi, Mason. Oh my goodness, he's such a good boy. Hi, say hi, Mason. Okay, you can go now because I'm busy. Bye, see ya. <laughs> okay, he literally came to say hi. All right. Uh, Stephanie, I can't wait for my order. I think I need to order the setting spray and the blender now. <laughs> the good thing is, Stephanie, that you can order little by little. It's free shipping always. It's kind of dangerous because I'm the type of person that I hold back um, a lot from ordering online because when I get to the shipping, it kills me to spend 5 or $6. Sounds so dumb. I will spend $50 on something, but then when it's $5 shipping, I'm like, forget it. I, I can't. I'm not going to do it. So with Saint, it is free shipping always, whether you buy a $10 eyeshadow every day. You can literally buy something every day and it's free shipping, um, which brings me to free exchanges and free returns. I've never had anybody return the makeup, but sometimes they will exchange it. The colors, um, they might want something a little bit more dramatic. So, I mean, I've done a lot of color matches and I pretty much nail them always. But at least you know that you can always return an exchange for free. The only thing that Saint does ask is that you get a tracking number. So I think that costs like two or three bucks at the post office and that's it. So a little trick I like to do instead of exchanging things, I actually return them because I don't have patience to wait for the exchange to happen. So I, I return them and then I immediately place my new order. Hi, Roslyn. Thank you for hopping on, Roslyn. Roslyn, I wasn't able to sit with you in New York, so here we go. <laughs> Grab your makeup and start practicing. No, but guys, this makeup is really easy to use. Again, it is cream. Um, a lot of my customers, it's crazy. I have girls who have ordered the makeup because they are like makeup gurus and they know everything about makeup and they want to try the cream. And then they love it. And then I have people who've never tried makeup and it just seems so easy that it's like, okay, let me go ahead and try it. So I think it's for everybody. All right, so I'm still on my contour because I'm yapping away. I do talk a lot when I'm doing these. So now I'm adding a little bit of contour on my nose and I'm just kind of pressing it with the same detail hack brush. And it's just kind of like make, it doesn't matter. It can look scary because it blends like a dream. This makeup is so easy to work with okay i hate the tip of my nose so i am kind of just putting contour on the tip so that you don't see it 
So remember that the good thing about contour is that it hides the things that we want it to hide. And then the highlight is what we want it to show. So for me, I just always add a little bit. Look at my husband. I love you, husband. Husband, share my video, okay? Sharing is caring. You guys, if you're here, please share my video. And also, um, so that you don't miss my lives, you can actually, there's a little button around here that says get notifications when I post or when I get live, when I go on live. I have, I do that with a lot of the people that I follow. It's really convenient. A lot of the times my friends are like, oh my God, I missed your live. If you turn on the notifications, you'll get like a little, a little notification. Oh, Jessica is live. So that way you guys can always hop on and keep me company. Okay, so there we go. So that was my contour. Uh, the, it has coverage. So I always like to have my, my contour look a little bit chiseled. So at the end, I kind of go back and I end a little bit more. But that's as simple as it gets. Literally one line here, two three and four the nose is totally optional you don't have to do your nose but everybody starts playing around with the contour and wants to do the nose i mean why not do the whole package the contour ladies it it takes away five pounds from your face if you have a round face it's gonna make it longer if you don't have cheekbones it's gonna give them to you remember it this this kind of gives a hollow um at least for me i don't have that nice beautiful hollow under my cheekbones and with this it does i mean i haven't blended it and i could already tell the difference of how it looks like all sucked in. Okay, so now I'm gonna switch my brush up and I'm gonna go in with my buff brush. This is my favorite. This brush is amazing for full coverage. It does pick up a lot more makeup. Uh, I love it. Unless I'm going to work, when I do go to work, I love the blend, the best blend forever. It gives you more of a lighter finish. Um, I have to have a mask on all day long at work with the kids. So um, I still do my makeup, believe it or not. I always been like that, but it's a very light feathered look. And this one is amazing for that. Hold on one second. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that. I forgot to share my own video. You guys, if you haven't shared, can you share? I am trying to grow a following and it's so hard um, to get out there. So I have to literally share my own videos. <laughs> That's okay. I don't mind. Here we go. Okay. So I'm going to just share. Sorry, my computer, it's share public. Okay. And then I should have tagged some of my friends on here, but I didn't. I guess I can go ahead and do this. All right. So anyway, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to apply my under eye. Okay. So I don't ever really know what to consider this. If I have bags, I know the bags are usually very low down on the bottom of your eye, but what I know I have is pigmentation underneath my eyelids and you can see them there. I mean, right now I do have a little bit of like under eyeliner, but I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about right below. You're going to see what a magical difference adding just a little bit of highlight, AKA concealer does to that under eye area. So I'm just going to go in and I'm dabbing very lightly and I'm bringing it up. Already I see a huge difference. And this is when I tell you that I love to do these lives. Um, that's actually how I got involved with Saint because I am very skeptical. And if I don't see something happening with my own eyes, I'm like, oh no, I'm sure that's not how easy it is or how simple it is. So I love to show people just how simple this makeup is to use and you're going to see the difference right now. Okay, so take a look at the difference here. This pigmentation, even my little bags, because I actually I do see it here and I, this one is gone. So I'm adding, this is the color June, and I just like to bring it up to give myself a little bit of a lift. I always say I, it's like a little bra for my face. I lift this up and I am just illuminating the area that I want to be lifted. So I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. I just want you guys to really I start getting crazy and adding a lot more, but I don't care. Again, notice that I am not overlaying my makeup. I am not going over that bronzer, not at all. And that area already has um, coverage. So I'm just applying this where I don't have any makeup. Again, I like to bring that up and I am just pressing and getting really in that corner. And then I'm just bringing it down here. Okay, so there you see, this is the concealer, the magic of concealer. Hi, Kristen. Hey, Stephanie. 
Oh, that's the same Stephanie. I thought it was a different Stephanie. Okay, so thank you girls for hopping on. That makes the biggest difference for me. Um, I, I don't know why. I've always had that. It almost looks like I have smeared mascara, but I don't. <laughs> it's just a discoloration of my eyes. Okay, I'm putting some right down the middle here and the bridge of my nose because I want to make sure that my nose looks a little thinner. I have redness on the sides of my nose. And then I'm just going to put a tiny little bit of brightening here. Okay, so for those of you that don't know, we want to make sure that we illuminate that imaginary triangle that we have. Where When people talk to us or when they look at us, this is where they look, right? Right above our eyebrows and then right down here, kind of like an upside down triangle. That's what I like to illuminate there. And then here, I'm just going to fan this out. Again, this is cream. If you, think, if you think you put too much, it's so easy to remove. Literally with the Beauty Blender, this bad boy does everything. It blends and it removes excess makeup. So I will use that more towards the end. All right, so now that I did that, I'm gonna flip my buff brush over. And now I'm gonna use my third color, which is the color that matches the skin the most. This is what we kind of call in regular makeup world foundation. The reason why in Saint Beauty we don't have a foundation, it's because these three colors make up our foundation. It's the three colors and they each provide coverage and you don't have to overlap them. You don't have to have that cake face. I am very aware of that feeling. Um, I For years, I am 44, so for, I want to say 20 years, maybe more, I have been using foundation and it was always the same deal. Apply the liquid, right? A bunch of liquid, blend it out, let it set, and then I will go in and then I will put my concealer and blend it out and let it set. That's already two layers. Then the very few times that I would contour because I would only contour for like, I'm talking about like major events, like, I don't know, weddings, like when you really need to look made up, that's already a third layer on my face right here and here. Then I would add blush. That would be a fourth layer. Guys, right now I have one layer on my face, a little piece of contour here, my under eye brightener here, and I'm gonna go in now with the third color, and this is the one that matches my face the most, and I'm gonna apply that in the areas that I don't have any makeup. Okay, so you can already see there the difference in my skin, and I love to swoop it up right here so I can really make that contour nice and crisp. That's when I start noticing the redness in my skin, okay? This is magic. Again, I'm just gonna add it, I'm dabbing, and I like to kind of soup it up, right up in there, to kind of um, chisel out that contour. Notice I didn't go over. I can tell where I don't have makeup. This little area right here is bare, but you can see the redness. Same thing here. So I just go in and I dab, just like that. Here too, get rid of that redness. And guys, this looks crazy right now, but once you blend this, it is amazing. And here I did not place makeup right toward the middle. Remember, I put contour on the top of my forehead and then I put a little bit of brightening right on the between the eyebrows. So now I'm pretty much done. That's foundation. Guys, when do you ever only apply that little foundation? These tins last forever. The contour should last you about three to four months. I've made it last longer because I feel like I don't use a lot. This can last you five months if you're really careful. Most people like light coverage. I'm about to add a little bit more contour right there because I blended it out. The eye brightener, which is also known as the um, concealer, this can last you four or five months. The main color, three or four months. Your lip and cheeks, forever more, most or more, more so if you have more than one. They will last for a long time. I'm adding a little bit more contour right over here because I kind of blended that out. All right. I know I like my contour nice and chiseled. So now I'm going to get ready to actually... Um, blend this bad boy out okay notice everything is right here i did my eyes earlier and it was all right in here as well so i'm gonna go ahead and start blending i am going to use my blush and bronzer and i'm literally just gonna stipple and move this around and just make sure that you don't see any harsh lines because the magic of the look how easy that is okay i already blended my contour down 
it kind of gives like an ombre effect. I don't have a big forehead, so I don't use the contour on my forehead for that reason. I use the contour on my forehead because it kind of gives me this really pretty, like, um, I mean, I, I don't know how else to call it, kind of like a ombre effect. It just kind of like disappears. Now here I'm dabbing. Remember, this is where I put my main color, my main highlight. I'm just kind of dabbing this in gently. I'm gonna bring down the contour from my neck. Just bring it down. Okay, and then I'm just gonna kind of swipe in here, my under eye. And you'll see once I, once I blend, the contour looks amazing, look at that. Okay, so now you can kind of see how beautiful the brightening looks under the eye. It just, it's like a pop of color. It's literally amazing i've always used concealer so this is something that i've always done the problem with the concealer that i used to use before which was tart i know a lot of people love it um till you try cream so the tart is liquid it would settle in my fine lines and in the middle of the day i would literally see it cracking in those little lines it was disgusting but i thought that that's what that was it that was my only choice i never thought about using cream so the magic of the cream, guys, is that once for it doesn't settle, it doesn't set or get hard on your skin, and it moves with your skin. So at the end of the day, if I see that I see some lines, I literally dab and press, and it goes away. It's literally like I touched up just with my finger. Okay, so now that I did that, I'm going to blend out my contour, okay? And this is what scares a lot of people, but literally, guys, I'm going to dab... And I'm kind of like just dabbing upward and that's it. Okay, it almost feels like you can make it disappear if you feel like it's too dark, but I like mine to really show. You guys, if you haven't shared my video, please do so click share. That is a huge deal for me and I really appreciate it. If you're interested in any of the makeup that I'm using today, the tools, the brushes or the eyeshadows, this is color number um, 33, it's the cutest name. Um, my link is in my bio, and um, I will gladly help you pick your colors if you feel like you need that help. I know I did when I first started. I will color match you. I just need a little selfie, and I will recommend the colors, and then you guys, you can shop at your own convenience. It is super easy, free shipping, free returns, free exchanges, and super affordable, super affordable. Each little tin is $14, so you guys do the math. If you get your main colors, which is four, I mean, at $14 each, it's about close to $60. And now they even give credits where you can get a free palette, so you can put them in there. You put your cute little um, tins in there. I'm using the Perfector sponge. This is what I like to use to blend my nose because it doesn't move my lines. So I literally press it and just kind of like make sure that those lines disappear there and then just go over on top. You can still see the brightening, right? So you see how that light just shines and that thin line on my nose instead of the real wide nose that I have. Okay, and then I kind of take this and I like to press under my eyes, taking off any excess makeup because who wants to feel thick makeup? No one. And even though this makeup is very thin and it's just one layer, I always do this to press it in and kind of give you like an airbrush look to it. Okay, I'm gonna go in now and add a little bit more contour. And a lot of people, this is perfect for a lot of people. That's awesome. I think that's how, that's how I started. And then I'm like, oh my gosh, I think I want a little bit more. I want a little bit more. So there we go. And then I'm just going to finish blending that out. Again, it's cream. You can't do this with liquid or powder. Once it sets, you're done. You can't, you can't mess around with it and add more or make it darker or blend it out. No, once it settles, you are done. You got to wash your face. Cream is a game changer. I can literally go back in a few hours and add a touch up right on top of my current makeup and it's not gonna cake it's not going to give you that cake feeling that's why i always hashtag no more cake face okay so that's that everything's pretty much nice and blended i just like to press 
And then I'm gonna go on now and I'm going to add some illuminator. I'm going to use the color Pearl. I can go in with my Perfector sponge. It's amazing for this as well. And I just kind of like to add it right to the top of my cheekbone, right there. So it gives you, you see how beautiful that looks? When you turn, it's very subtle. So you don't see it when I'm looking right at you. You see it, hi, baby. <laughs> hi, hi, hi. You see it when I turn to the light and it's like a little glow and I love to just add that right to the top and just, I make sure that it's nice and blended in there. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing. So this is Pearl. I'm literally just adding the tip of my Perfector sponge and just adding it. So you see, you can see where I added. This is why you need to just blend it out. And then I just turn this around and I blend and I press and look at the, oh, I love it. So it's beautiful, it is subtle, it is amazing. This makeup is a game changer. I like to add a little bit to the tip of my nose and my Cupid's bow, right there. And I have to do my lips and I'm practically done. I like to contour my lips a little bit with um, indigo. Literally, I line them kind of just to give it a little bit of a shadow. And then I just add my lipstick right above it. Sorry guys, I can't talk and do this. All right, so once I do that, I kind of just press it with my finger and that's it. I contoured my lips. I can even add a little bit right here. And then I can go in with, I mean, any color. I can go in with my red, my scarlet. It is dark, but I love it. I am a red girl lipstick, so. And you're gonna see that the same color I use as blush, hold on. Okay guys, so that's the color Starlet. So our lip and cheeks, they serve um, two purposes. You can use them on your lips as well as on your cheeks. I almost forgot to add this. So again, look at, I mean, a little goes a long way guys, okay? A tiny little bit and I just kind of apply it, you see? All of these are cream, so they're so easy to blend. So a lot of people say, oh, because of the pandemic, I'm not wearing makeup. Guys, I wear makeup. It's part of like my outfit. I never use that as an excuse. And it's okay if you don't like wearing makeup because of the mask. But even when I'm home, it is part of my routine ever since I can remember. I'm talking about like for many years, like 20 years. I have my routine in the morning is to wake up and I get dressed right away and I I am ready. I always add my makeup with mask, without mask. I don't care if it transfers over to my mask. I don't care if nobody sees me. Um, my husband will see me always made up. And so that is just me. So there goes the lip and cheek. So I added it to my lips and to my cheeks. It gives you like a nice little pink glow. Okay, it's all right there. And then what I like to do is add my Bella bronzer. Everybody knows how I feel about Bella. I am a beach person. Oh, thank you, Stephanie. I know it really is. And it feels, guys, it doesn't feel like you have a pound of makeup on, okay? I can't tell you. I just wish everybody would to try this. If you use liquid or powder and you try the cream, you're gonna flip out. We all have the misconception cream. Oh my gosh, I can't. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with my Bella bronzer. So the Bella bronzer brings warmth into your face. It just warms it up. I'm gonna see if it's noticeable on one side of my face. Yeah, there it is. So it kind of just brings my whole look together. I've always loved that little sun-kissed look. So I just kind of add it again, since this is cream, nothing is settling, nothing's getting to like powdery and flaky on my face. I can just go ahead and add this 
at any point in any order. I like to end it by adding on my neck. Same thing here, I'm just gonna add a little bit. You can squeeze your brush and just put it in there. You can kind of see, let me get close to the camera. Sorry for my canas, people. Okay, so you see how that brown looks there? That's because I'm adding warmth to my face. So then I just go ahead and I blend it outward. I like to add a little bit to my cheekbones up here. Guys, when you order your makeup, please, you have to get the cream brushes. If you have Chanel brushes, they're gonna work amazing, amazing. But there's a difference between brushes that work well with cream and brushes that will work well with powder. You can't use certain brushes on cream because it's not gonna pick up as much makeup as you need or as little. So that, that's a huge deal. If you can see the brushes from Saint are amazing. Look at this, okay? I have, let me show you my MAC one, right? Because I, I, I kept my eyeshadow brushes. So I've had my brushes for years. This is a MAC. This is Saint Beauty. Oh my gosh. The quality here, the way the bristles are on the top, how tightly dense they are, they were not cheap in here. It is amazing. All of these brushes, the bristles are great. I can't tell you enough. I've had really good brushes. I mean, I kept my eyeshadow ones, but I got rid of all of my others. I just, I, I ordered the whole set because the, I needed them. Guys, every 15 years, I would say, right? For, I mean, I, I wasn't the type to buy brushes every week. I bought a good set of brushes and they should last me, to me, 10 to 15 years, which they did. I never replaced them. I just took really care, really good care of them. I washed them and it was time to replace them. So I did replace them with the Saint ones. Okay, so now I'm just finishing off with my setting spray. And I'm just dabbing so that it can just set my makeup. Look at these little flyaways. I don't know if I, I'm having like new hairs growing. Whatever, I'm not gonna complain about new hair growing, but what in the world? Like baby hairs everywhere, okay. All right, you guys. So again, if you're interested, if you want to get this as a gift for somebody, I've had a few ladies, actually, it's the cutest thing. They've sent me um, selfies of their friends or their mom or their girlfriends. Some of these husbands are, oh my God, my husband can't buy this for me because I, I, I buy myself whatever I want with the saint, but send me a selfie. I'll recommend the colors. What an amazing bir um, birthday, Christmas gift, anything. If you place your order by December 14th, they will have it by Christmas. And you know what? If they want to exchange it or return it, it is free return, free exchanges. They have amazing products. I didn't use everything today, but um, let me know if that's something that you want to do. Um, I've also had people order for their daughters or their nieces. So cute. They, they've been getting like the little lip conditioner with a lip and cheek um, or two of them in the tiny little palette. That's also something that the little girls would absolutely love. One of the moms actually bedazzled her compact, which I thought was such a cute idea. I don't have one with me here, do I? I don't. She got the little tiny compact that fits four tins. She bedazzled the top of it with a Cricut or something and added her name. And I, I mean, that's an adorable little gift. So again, anything you need, please message me, DM me. Um, if you don't follow me on Instagram, please do so. I am also at underscore face by me. My link is on here. Don't forget to comment, like, and share this video. If you don't want to miss these, go ahead and turn on your notifications so that you get a little message every time I post or I go live. So thank you guys so much for hopping on and watching, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Have a great week, guys. Bye.